T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and lift off, go southbound, go southbound. Go southbound. Vehicles pitching down range. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying the Mera Puti Dua payload. During ascent, we tilt the engines, also known as gimbling, and that Power turns the rocket horizontally on. in what we call a gravity turn. In a gravity turn, the vehicle is still going up, but now we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. Just heard, we had max Q. And the rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and get into orbit. So keep an eye on the stage one telemetry that's at the bottom of your screen. Now we have three events coming up in quick succession, starting with MECO, or main engine cutoff, stage separation, SES-1, or second engine start one. And that's coming up in around 30 seconds from now. Vehicles on the nominal trajectory. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And there you heard and even saw those three events ignition. that happened back to back, which were Miko, stage separation, and second engine start one. Coming up next will be fairing separation that's in about a minute from now. And back to your pressures are nominal. We have some really beautiful views from space. You can see the grid fins have deployed on the left-hand side of your screen on the first stage. Fairing separation confirmed. We just saw fairing separation, and we'll be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again today once they fall back to Earth with our recovery vessel, Bob. Both vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. It's now T plus four minutes and 20 seconds into, t into today's mission. Just past the T plus six minute mark, you should see on your screen the first stage entry burn. To start the entry burn, we'll relight three M1D engines, starting with the center engine, known as E9, followed shortly by the E1 and E5 engines. And it's similar to pumping the brakes to slow down the vehicle as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. We need to slow down to reduce re-entry forces, which then helps us recover and reuse the first stage. 
During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but we're still moving really fast. And this causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, which are also known as the plume, and this deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle surface. And that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel, the RP-1, that Falcon 9 burns, and, and with each flight, the soot builds up a little bit more on the outside of the vehicle. Oftentimes, prior to launch, you can see that soot on the first stage as it's sitting on the pad. We have a really awesome view of stage two, and you can see on your screen, it's still picking up speed and as it, has, as it heads to its destined orbit. Both stages are on a nominal trajectory. Entry burn on the first stage is coming up in a couple seconds. Stage, stage one, one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one, entry burn shut down. So on the left-hand side of your screen, we have stage one. You could see that it really decelerated as its speed, as its speed slowed down. Reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in critical scientific research. The Falcon 9 first stage that's supporting today's mission will perform this entry burn for its 17th time. Having previously supported missions like CRS-22 and 25, NASA Crew-3 and Crew-4, and TurkSat-5B. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Stage one transonic. The Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level and achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust each during ascent and entry. After liftoff, stage Falcon 9's first stage has more thrust than five 747 airplanes at full power. The MVAC engine with a much wider nozzle is optimized to 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. Stage one landing burn startup. And back shutdown. Nominal park orbit insertion. Stage one landing leg deploy. And there Stage you one have landing it. confirmed. That landing marks SpaceX's 275th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy.